Okay, so we've um, not looked in the camera in the right direction. Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm the Black Country Vlogger and I'm at the Blasio Conservatory and it's all mine. Oh, actually, it's not just a person down there, how rude. Actually, let's do this right. I'm aware that many, many vlogs will have many, many videos of this conservatory, but it's more of a keepsake for me and Jane. Okay, so I'm in the Bellagio. Um, no, I'm not. Why am I actually? Okay, bit of a story. So yesterday, went to Dave's at Rebar, bought a drink, well, brought some drinks, came to nine dollars. Thought I'd break a hundred, so I gave him the uh, hundred, and he gave me all the change in fives. He apologised, but he gave me all the change in fives. That's fine. It's going to get spent. Um, then yesterday, went to Walgreens. Bought some stuff, gave me all the change in fives. I thought, well, this is a bit weird, what a coincidence. So this morning, because it's early, I've grabbed all those fives, shoved them in the machine, got a ticket out, then I've gone to where you can redeem your ticket, thinking it'll give me twenties and tens and stuff, and it's giving me fives. It's like, it's a, a, a note deficit. Like, there's something going on in Vegas where there is no money. Is it just five dollars? Five dollar notes, and that's it. No other denominations, no tens, no... 20s, no 50s, it's just fives. So all the fives are shoved in the machine, I've got back. Right. Uh, I don't know, if anybody can comment below that, like locals or anybody that knows what's going on, so I obviously don't. Um, why does Vegas only have five dollar notes floating around and that's it? Very odd, very, very odd. I thought while I'm talking to camera about my um, five dollar issues, um, I've just thought I'd have a quick go on this. Um, I've never played this before. Uh, I've just had a chat with a lovely lady who thought I was German and didn't understand a word I was saying, but story of my life. Um, so yeah, $20 in, I'm just going to do 80 cents a pair. Um, just for an early morning gamble. Seems as bad as last night. Oh my god, oh my god, I've, I've, I've got a bonus. Oh my god. <coughs> um, okay, I'll press play. Okay, I didn't expect this. We'll see how it goes anyway. Oh shit, look at all the buffaloes. That's a lot, isn't it? Oh my god. Yay! This might count for a while. I'm going to press the button. Nice. Oh. 
I'm, I'm assuming two of those again is like a re-trigger, just like the normal Buffalo games. I'm getting greedy now. Retrigger. Yay! Another retrigger. I would like money though, to be honest. All these spins and nothing from him. Ooh. <laughs> Lovely. Three more free spins, and my throat's going. That's good. Well, I'll put it out. <coughs> Sorry. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's it. Wow, that's all I'm going to say, wow. So there we have it, um, my voice is now back, I've just cleared my throat off camera. Um, put 20 in, I've got 88.55. Um, I'm taking it and running, yay! Well that was unexpected, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, there's me yesterday moaning about that we didn't have much luck, but that was mainly Paris. Paris was terrible. Well, the place was alright, but gambling, terrible. Um, so yes, today, what are we doing? Don't know. We were going to do Bellagio 2 for 1 buffet, but they've changed the blackout date, so this whole period is blacked out. Annoying, but they, it's, just a, it's just a decision, isn't it? So um, instead of going to an equally as uh, fancy place, either um, Ocean One, Bar and Grill, or um, uh, well, Blondies, probably Blondies, I've um, not been there before, so they both opened around 7, 7.30, and then to be honest, the rest of the trip, we haven't got too much planned, we don't know what we're doing really, um, planned a few things, Christmas is planned uh, to a certain point, uh, and we're going to meet up with Cathy, Grant and a couple of friends of hers as well, uh, so looking forward to that, and uh, we're jumping off the strut again. Um, I think that's tomorrow, Thursday, yeah. But yeah, go back upstairs, getting ready, chilling, then going out. Oh yeah, so yeah, we decided on Blondies. Um, never been here before, I know a lot of people have, and the breakfast special is quite popular. Um, so that's what we've ordered. So I think a while back, the breakfast special itself, which consists of two eggs anywhere you like, uh, two bacon or sausage, and crunchy potatoes, I um, think it used to be $3.99, it's now $5.99. Um, it's still a bargain, really. Um, I've also ordered um, a side of wheat toast. Um, so that'll be, well, just to fill me up, really. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. Um, yeah. And here is the $5.99 special. Um, it's not massive, but then again, it's $5.99. Lovely, thank you. 
Um, looks all right though. Um, there's my toast, there's my coffee. Um, I'll let you know what it's actually like in a bit, but um, maybe should have stayed at 3 99 Okay, so the breakfast's been eaten and this is the verdict. Do you know what? Flavour wise, absolutely fine. Really, actually nice. I enjoyed it. Um, I felt like it was a nice start to the day as well. Um, I know I kind of commented on the portion size and that it should be 3 99 Maybe it should be, who am I to say? But um, I'm not bloated or anything like that. I'm not like overly podged. It's, it's been a nice start to the day. Um, very, um, the flavours were there, um, the, the eggs were lovely, well cooked, nice and runny, um, the crunchy potatoes, they were nice, they weren't hard or anything like that, sausage is sausage, I was never going to have the bacon, you know what I mean, your bacon is just like leather, no chance. Thank you very much. Um, but yeah, the sausage is fine as well, all in all, it was nice, um, it served a purpose and it served it well, so like I said, you don't have to have massive portions all the while. Um, and £5.99, yeah, do you know what? It's all right. I'd recommend it, I really would. Um, I'd come here again, quite happily. Um, the place itself does a lot of um, other breakfast things as well. Um, I'll probably put a link into their menu or something, um, if I remember. But um, all in all, Blondie's breakfast, I've enjoyed it. Got to add as well, uh, bottomless coffees. Um, nice. So, guess what? We've got another MGM Rewards. Um, so yeah, this is the two for one uh, gelato at Cafe Gelato at Bellagio. So the one on the left, I've had the raspberry sorbet and James had the uh, Snickers gelato and they look absolutely busted. So yeah, we're at Bellagio, we're outside, the pool's behind me, about to enjoy our gelato. I'm going to try it on camera and make a mess of myself. Bridge a lot. No, my sorbet. Breakfast sorbet. Oh, that's nice. A really strong raspberry flavour as well. Um, yeah, like I said, MGM Rewards 2 for 1. Really tough for me to get this one because um, it's quite difficult to get. And it's a small compensation for not getting the, well, for having the blackout day on the uh, buffet at Bellagio. Well, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Right, so we've never done this before, mainly because we've not stayed in the blood yet before. Um, we're going to use the um, Aria Express tram. I'm hoping the escalators are working. Yay, they're working. Nice novelty there. There we go, proving so for you. Yeah, can you see the Rio? <laughs> I really thought I was going to drop my phone then. Let's have a look at this. Okay, okay. Park MGM and Aria Resort and Casino. Welcome to Park MGM and Aria Resort and Casino. Please stand clear of the doors. So here we have um, a journey to the Planet Moolah. Now I've played a lot of Moolah games, I've definitely not played this one before. Ready when you are? 
Did this time though. Okay. Right. Oh. So we're going to try the Frankenstein machine. Um, I've seen this on a few videos. We've never played it, but um, it looks fun. Let's see if we can get a bonus or something. Because we need one. We don't need one. We'd like one. So yes, yeah, so after this, we're going to go to the MGM Rewards desk and um, oh my god! You need a Frankie's. Yeah, I get it. I understand. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is a fun game. Yeah, because I'm winning. Yeah, it's quite slight. Yeah, it's quite different to what I've seen before. So yeah, we're gonna get some um, more MGM rewards. And uh, some two for one drinks at a few places found here. I notice one of the heads is fiery, like more fiery than others. I wonder, oh, I can say if it impacts on those ones, maybe. Damn it. Come on, give us some heads. I oh, know, I'm being punished for my innuendos.
Wow, well, really got plenty for my innuendos. Oh well, that was fun though, I enjoyed that. I um, might play that another time afterwards or something. Yeah, good game. Right, so yet again we've redeemed some more MGM rewards uh, at the area. So we've had, me and Janet got premium rewards on this. So it's a free cocktail at the lobby bar. So we've got one of those each. We've also got two for one gelato at Patisserie behind us. And we've also got two for one cocktails at Playful Voice Versa at Vidara. Never been to Vidara before. I don't think it's got a casino. But I'd be interested to go and see because I've never been there before. But for now, we're going to go and have some free cocktails. So we have a bit of a problem. The lobby bar's closed and we've just redeemed for a free cocktail. Um, that's not good. Looks like we'll have to come much later. Um, oh well. So <coughs> Aria, and this is our Christmas deck. All red and white. Uh, very pepperminty. And very pretty. Just seen this on the way to Vidara and I think it looks really cool. Lots of seven segment displays, LEDs. They are actually all seven segment displays. Remember that from my old electronics days. It's cool isn't it? Well I think it's cool. Here we are at the Vidara, it's at the back of area. And that weird thing over there in the corner. That's a sculpture made of like lots of boats. I did Google that before we came on holiday. Yeah, it's an art thing, lots of boats all stuck together. And there's the uh, Sparta of the Blasio where we stayed. And there's the Cosmo. So yeah, there we go, there's the, um, the art, close up. It's all right, it's not really my thing. I prefer the LEDs and the seven segment displays. That's all right, I think. So right by the entrance to Vidara is actually the vice versa patio and lounge, which is where we're hopefully gonna get our buy one, get one free cocktails. Okay, let's have the day. Um, yesterday we had two for one uh, cocktails at the lobby bar at MGM. There's a limit on the price. Um, the free one couldn't be more than $17. The trouble is, there was only one on the menu that was $17. Everything else was higher. So it limited us to either having the um, espresso martini, the espresso martini, or the espresso martini. Now, I'm all right with that, but Jane doesn't like espresso martinis. And to be honest, to only give you one option is a bit off really though. Like. Uh, because it's kind of forcing your hand. Now, the lady did say, well, we can make any cocktail you like, but I'm like, well, how much is that cocktail going to be? And how do I know what to order? I don't know, it just didn't make sense. However, at the Vidara, and vice versa, the limit they've given us is $18, and I'll just show you the menu now. So here we go. So like I said, the limit is $18. So we can't have a cocktail more than $18. So. Morning Mary, fine. Irish coffee, fine. Michelada, fine. Vice Mimosa, fine. Berry Smashing, fine. Sunset Sparkler, can't have that one. You zoom me up, fine. And Daisy if you do, fine. So, you tell me which one's fairer, the lobby bar at um, MGM or vice versa? Because I don't know what my answer is. It begins with vice and ends with versa. Thanks, vice versa. So, uh, these are the cocktails that we've chosen. Um, this one is Jane's, it's a Yuzu meal. It's $18 uh, before tax. So it's a Kettle One Citron Vodka, Sparkling Yuzu, Ginger, Fresh Grapefruit and Lemon. Um, sounds right up my street to be honest, but uh, I've chosen something different and this is what I've chosen. So mine is called a Daisy If You Do. It's also $18. Um, it's got Casamigos Blanca Tequila, Cointreau, Pom Juice, I guess it's pomegranate, um, agave and lime. And I've asked for a sugary rim because I don't want a salty rim. And I'll leave it at that. 
By the way, the music in here is really good as well. I can't really leave it on for too long because I'll get flagged, stupid YouTube. But, uh, bottoms up. Oh, that's nice. You can really taste the tequila. That's nice, I'm liking that. Well worth it. Last night when we was in the Eiffel Tower restaurant, we decided to buy these uh, macarons uh, to go because, um, well, we wanted to. Because <laughs> we like macarons. Um, yeah, they, they look nice. Um, we're going to give them a go. We still like vice versa. Uh, we thought we'd just chill out here. Um, yeah. Looking forward to it. So here we go. Cookies and cream macaron. Well, macaroon is the way to call it. So it's not a macaroon, it's a macaron. You should know. Harris, you're French. You weren't French. Okay. I incorrectly identified this as cookies and cream. It's coffee. It's 100% coffee. It's lovely. It's coffee. Best warn Jane, because I don't think she's going to like this one. Oh, I've just been given the go ahead. Mm. That was absolutely busting. So soft, so tasty. So coffee. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. Not going to boy with all the others. But if any of those are anywhere near as good as that one just was, well worth the $20, really are. So, basically, both me and Jane have got the MGM Rewards for two for one cocktail, but the terms and conditions state that you can only use one per table. But um, we had a chat with the waitress, and what we've been able to do is we've closed the check for the, the one redemption, so that was mine. And then we've been able to use Jane's um, MGM rewards for the second lot of cocktails. So um, yeah, thanks very much to the waitress for that. Really appreciate it. So Jane has decided to mix it up and go for exactly the same one. But to be honest, she said it was really nice. So why why change it? Um, I have changed mine though. Not that I didn't like the original one I had, but um, I really like my berries. So I've gone for berry smashing which is um, something that I can't pronounce but it's a blueberry, vodka, aperol, berries and lime. So the voice first, uh, in case anybody really wants to know, behind me is Charmed. Charmed's been on TV for um, absolutely ages. Uh, I didn't even know they still showed it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try the berry smashing now. Here it is. Ooh, that's very berry. Um, that's nice. Can't taste the alcohol too much. But then again, it's the vodka, so vodka doesn't really have that much of a taste, does it? But um, it's definitely got um, a blueberry, raspberry kind of kick to it. Um, I'm going to enjoy that. I really am. Um, so yeah, catch you later. I'm going to carry on drinking. Time for another Amy's Henry Wards. God, we got a lot of these. Uh, yeah. So it's a uh, two for one gelato, uh, patisserie, uh, area. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of these rewards to get through. But uh, yeah, free, well, free gelato, two for one gelato. Uh, just going to know what flavour I want. I'll probably go for lemon sorbet, to be honest. Okay, so we've got the two for one gelato at patisserie, uh, patisserie, whatever. So Jay's got the Rocky Road, uh, there's my finger. Um, absolutely massive marshmallow in there, so uh, yeah, she's gonna love that. And oh, I've just had a um, lemon sorbet, so uh, yeah, look at that though, massive. So before we go to Park MGM um, for some uh, more uh, my Vegas rewards, uh, we're gonna play to Manjo. Let's see how we do. Something is about to happen. Well, that was a nice start. Baby. Uh, <laughs> Something disappointing is about to happen.
maybe our look's gonna change. Wait, wait. Nah. Eventually. On the kick out for me, watch. Exactly. Hey, more like it. I remember last time we played this, um, recommended by Chris Phelps, um, and uh, you know what, thanks for recommending it, because guess what, it's uh, paying out now as well, uh, thanks Chris. It's a fun game, I, I agree with Chris, um, they get a lot of play, I think we've only ever had the bonus once, like the proper bonus, but um, yeah, I, I do like this game. It's gonna let me down now, isn't it? Okay, so I'm filming like this because of how nice the actual place looks. The place is the lobby bar at um, area. So we've come here for um, free cocktails. Um, again, hell surprise, goes through own gem rewards. Um, but yeah, I just like to show you the um, theming. It's all uh, peppermint, black and white, black and white, red and white peppermint. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd uh, share it with you because it does look really nice in here, really good. Okay, so just in case he's interested, um, I've gone for the Winter Express, so I'll zoom in so you can see what it is. So, absolute vanilla vodka, Bailey's ice cream liqueur and hers is chocolate. I don't know, it says vanilla, maybe piece of vanilla, I oh, know it's vanilla, but I don't know. And James had the watermelon spritz. So just as I was filming the menu, the drinks have turned off. Um, I'm sure you can guess which one's which. Watermelon's on the left and the winter one's on the right. I've got a marshmallow with mine, it's a nice toasted marshmallow. And they gave us some free nibbles as well. Probably bored by now just watching me drink cocktail after cocktail after cocktail, yes, but uh, yes. I'm gonna drink cocktail. So we reached the uh, winter warmer. Oh, that's nice. Just be really careful. Winter Express. Um, I think Bailey's in it. Just Bailey's in there. Bailey's ice cream liqueur. Uh, yeah, it's nice. Really, really nice. Do you know what though, if I'll be really honest, um, I know in the UK you can get it, and if you can in America or other places, uh, the Bailey's chocolate liqueur, tastes like that, but more of a vanilla kick to it. But uh, yeah, it's nice, really nice. So this is Ghostbusters 4D. We're not gonna play the slots, we're just gonna do this. If you like Jumanji, you can do that with Jumanji. I think we should actually play now then. Um, because we've got um, $50 free to buy, um, better dollar six to <laughs>
One more. Okay, um, I might come back to it another time, but I'm done for now. Cheesy little bugger. So it's the Juniper Bar at Park MGM. Uh, we've got two for one cocktails. I've had something called an aviation, and Jane has something called a carnival. So the menu, like in a lot of places these days, go download it. So um, this is what we've had. So the aviation is foilet. Uh, fresh lemon, gin, and maraschino. And I do not know what I'm doing. And the carnival is uh, cotton candy, fresh lime, tankery, ten gin, gin, uh, and Saint Germain. Either way, they all sound all right. I would have chosen if I didn't, would I? Now, uh, more cocktails, more MGM rewards. That is the way today as we go in. Ooh. Thank, Thank you. you. Aviation. <laughs> oh. Wow. Um, yeah, wow. Now, that, that's nice. I can't taste the boiler because I thought I would. Um, it's very alcoholic. Um, might not make it through the night. So I'm going to try Prosperity Chilling. I'm doing the dangerous thing of thinking because that bowl is more full than that bowl and there would be a bowl over there but that's not full either. Then I thought that I'm going to win the jackpot and then go home a millionaire. There we go, see. So, uh, wish me luck, please. It looks good. Okay, what it is, I've got a bonus. Oops, I lost that one. Oh, it's um, unlocked that one as well. I didn't plan for this. Last spin. Oh no. Last spin. And there we go. Oh.
down to 65 or something. We're at the um, Beckham Gem um, Sports Bar at um, Barco Gem. Um, I don't I didn't know what's gonna I don't know what's gonna finish sooner. Uh, my brain with the alcohol or my battery. Or my liver, yeah that's probably gonna go as well. Uh, battery's really low. Uh, my um, alcohol levels are really high. Um, yeah, this is. Oh, that's me. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, where was I? I have no idea. Uh, yeah. So we've got more um, MGM reward cocktails, two for one. Um, I've got this strawberry raspberry lemonade bitch thing. Which is raspberry. Yes, I know that. And Jane Blitz and Blitz, which I think has got grapefruit in it. So this is James. This is mine. She knows the train is playing, so I'm going to get flagged. So quickly drink this. So you think you're sober. But don't impress me, man. It's alright. I'm going to have to go, my battery's going to die. Uh, and so am I. I'll catch you all tomorrow, hopefully. Okay, I've still got some battery. Uh, me and Jane just had a quick chat. Um, so yeah, we've had a lot of cocktails today, a lot of different places. Um, by far the best, by far, was Voice Versa at Vidara. The cocktails were amazing, really high quality. Definitely recommend. Um, we just seem to be going downhill from there, actually. So, oh yeah, so have I. I'm definitely going downhill. But, um, uh, so, uh, a whole day of um, cocktails and ice cream and ice cream actually yeah gelato and um, cocktails yeah. I'll see you tomorrow try a bit okay so we played the bonus thing we played about for a bit and had one bet on 250 I won bet up one sixty, and and that happened. So uh, we're very up. Um, we can't even lose properly now, can we? Yeah, we just wanted to round up, round down the tickets, so we had like a normal amount to get out of the machine. Uh, we still haven't got that actually, but um, yeah, we know up, and we didn't film any of it. Aren't we professionals? Best wipers in the world we have. Um, anyway, yeah, 480, yay yeah, we.